Hi, and welcome to my channel. Uh, today we're going to look at Ellen Villa's Arrow in the color uh, Multi Sand Rooted. Oh, so let's talk about the cap. The cap is a uh, open wefted, um, single left mono part, uh, velvet ear tabs with the stays, um, extended nape with the stays, uh, synthetic peas, not human hair, not heat friendly, uh, has a lace front, which that lace front is fantastic. Yeah, just look at that. That is one thing. So y'all know that I do like human hair. I love human hair, but I love synthetics as well. They will always have a place in my heart. Um, and this is one of those pieces why I have four, five arrows now. Five. Um, this is the only type of Ellenville wig that I have. I just haven't ventured into any other ones. I don't know why, but I mean, I kind of know why, but this piece, you know, she's just so like natural looking. I just love her. She's, you know, she's not too long to where she's going to be a horrible tangly mess. She's, you know, above your boobs, below your clavicles. Um, you know, like I can touch her, you know, with my fingers just barely. So not too long of a piece. Um, slightly layered, as you can see, there's some hair that is this length and there's hair that's that length. So there is a difference enough. It gives it more realism, more dimension, more texture. And then it's just got these beautiful relaxed waves. I would not call these beachy. This is hair like if you had curled your hair for date night or whatever reason, you know, a couple days before. And this is what it looks like now. It's just, you know, it still looks pretty. This can still be pretty date night hair, you know, work hair, but it's just not as extreme. It's not as over the top. Um, I use this piece for like everyday hair a lot and she goes easily into a ponytail. Um, I've shown that on one of my other reviews of Arrow in light Bernstein rooted and I show how she goes in the ponytail I have pictures of it on my Instagram I'm doing a workout series um, that includes this piece in it so when it comes out check it out um, so she's just I use her a lot I use arrow a lot and I really like her um, if you have seen older reviews they will say that arrow is dry and gets tangly and I'm going to tell you that with the arrows I have bought recently, that is not the case. My first arrow, yeah, she got tingly um, and she felt dry. But these, these feel great. They do not feel tangly. Like I, this is so easy for me to um, get the tingles out, like just with my fingers. And with my prior arrow, um, I could not do that. She just, she took a lot of maintenance and I still have her, um, but she took a lot of maintenance. Sorry, this does have a little tangle in it. Um, oh, but anyway, so this, this is a very relaxed looking piece and Ellen Villa just really knows how to do their lace fronts. You know, I mean, you can pull this back you know you can't see like the lace is right there let's see you can kind of see it now that i brought it forward but um you know you just you you press that down you get it into your skin and it just kind of melts into your skin but that hair you know, so if you've seen, you know, like I have a Ray, Renee Paris Bray, and you could not, like, her line was stark, and it just was not tastefully done. This hair, like, it's thinner at the hairline 
than it is elsewhere. This density overall is very light, but you see how I can like pull this back and it doesn't look, you know, it doesn't look wiggy. You know, it does a little bit right there, I'm not gonna lie. But if you just pull it down like that, you can pull this back. You can pull it back and it doesn't look ridiculous. And the lace is not shiny. Um, if you ever wanna know how shiny lace is, go look in your bathroom lighting because that's where you'll see how shiny it is. If it's a little shiny, I always just dust a little bit of makeup on it and the shine goes away for most of the wigs. Um, but yeah, she easily, you can easily play with her, manipulate her, the density is light. Uh, this cap is for small and medium sized heads, not large heads. Um, if you've seen any other Ellen Villa wig reviews, you'll probably have figured that out by now. Um, but she's very easy. I mean, she blends in like with your bio hair, you know, I mean, I've got this hair back here and I, it's enough to where I can wrap it up with my ponytail and put her in a ponytail. Like the density of this cat, this wig is perfect. That's why I love her. She's just super low maintenance and does not is not tangly and dry like people once said they were. So they've definitely upped their game, and I've noticed, which is why I've got more arrows. Before I was hesitant. I was like, well, it's so dry and tangly. I really want to spend that money only for to get ruined right away. But they're not like that anymore. So if you previously had banded getting an arrow because they're dry, give them a shot because they have changed how they make these fibers. Uh, so let's talk about the sand multi-rooted color. A lot of people say this is an ashy blonde, but I beg to differ because ashy blondes really don't look that great on me. You know, I can wear shaded biscuit and that's a neutral blonde. It has platinum in it and sandy blonde. And sandy blonde is like a warm and platinum. That's, I wouldn't call it ashy. I'd, I'd say that's just more like a neutral. So I wouldn't call it ashy. This has, it's it's rooted so it gives it that total realistic look. Oh my goodness, you can see my wig cap right there. Something to keep in mind. If you notice that you can see that on your wig, if you just, Sometimes what happens is the wig cap will get stuck on that line, which actually Ellen Villa, I don't think they have that line that we see on like John Renault, where it goes, um, you know, the mono top and then the lace front. I don't think that Ellen Villa has that. So sometimes it's just placement and how it falls with a little bit of makeup that'll blend in and that scalp will look very realistic. Um, but anyways, this rooting, the rooting is not, overly dark. I would say this is like an eight. Um, they did, they're, you know, kind of like Raquel Welch where they do the blonde up front. So if you feel like, like I have this in champagne rooted and I just felt like the front part looked a little fake. So I took marker and added rooting and then it looks 10 times better. This one, I don't really feel like I need to do that. It's got some dark, it's not like, like Raquel Welch's, their lace fronts are beautiful, but they'll make it like a blonde strip right here and then it's brown. You know, it's like the brown rooting. So it doesn't always look the best. Their intentions, you know, are well-meaning, but sometimes it still looks squeaky. But this is like evenly blended where there's some dark and some blonde. So it looks really good. But um, back to the color, I don't think this is, I mean, when you think of sand, it's just, it's got, different colors sand has different colors so there's some warm in here there's some neutral you, you know i guess you could say there's a little bit of ashy i'd say there's a little bit but not enough to where someone like me who looks good in warm undertones couldn't wear it so i actually like this better on me than the champagne rooted and that's a warm blonde it's a bright blonde but it's a warm blonde so if this, if I feel comfortable in this piece, then it's not overly ashy, um, which is my opinion. Uh, so yeah, this is her. This is just a very a mixtured blonde, a lot of great dimension, a lot of good dimension that is not like yellow. It's not just one color of blonde, you know, because I don't like those plain colors. I like to have a dimensional blonde. And that's why why I like this um, this color. So let me show you a 360. Here's the front.
figure it out and I'll put the right description. Um, if you like my videos, like and subscribe. If you give me a thumbs down, give me some feedback, tell me why. Um, I'm not gonna get butthurt, I just like to know so I can make these videos more user friendly. Um, and uh, thank you if you watched till the end and um, have a good day. And